Well, Slayers, what you've been waiting for, we're gonna go ahead and get our new tadpole pets. Look at the size of this freaking lobster. Look at this froglet, guys. Oh! Ready, Cordy? I'm recording. You're recording? You're ah, recording? yeah. All right, what up, Slayers? We're back at it with another adventure, and today we're actually finally going to be able to take the time and take care of our brand new tadpoles that we got from Ryan is Fishing. Now, I need to upgrade their tank. They're only in a 10 gallon, and I want them to thrive and do very well. So what I have to go ahead and do is the following. I have this beautiful tank here that I've been raising water lettuce that I use from this tank, and I move it all the way over here and dump it for my colorful crawfish army. Now, as you can see, they've been eating a lot of it. Remember I tell you, they're just wrecking oh it. My gosh. This was covered in it, and now there's nothing else. So I'm gonna move what I have there into a nice little bowl, and we're gonna set up that entire aquarium for our tadpoles. Now, I also wanna show you some of the biggest crawfish I've ever seen that Ryan is Fishing gave us, which are in the front of the place. Let's check it out. So Slayers, so as you can see, we have a big old crawfish in here. Let me see if I can go ahead and grab it. Oh, they're fighting. Look at the claw on this oh one. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I got it. I got it. Giant. Jeez. Look at the size of this freaking lobster. That's crazy. It's fighting me. It is one of the biggest crawfish I have ever seen. And I don't want to mix them with my colorful crawfish because I don't want interbreeding. Like I don't, I only want white, blue, red, all the colors. I don't want albrownos, you know? So here's a male, because you see the claws and everything. We're wow. gonna hold that guy. He's massive. There is a massive female right here. Get, bring that butt here, boy. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Giant. Another one? Huge. This is another male. Oh my God, they got in a battle, look. They got in a battle and the claw is missing. Oh jeez. So that's another male. There's a female in here. There's a giant female. She's there somewhere. Oh gosh, I just felt her. That's a dead one. <gasps> well, Slayers, unfortunately, we had one casualty, which is this one. So sad. So the turtles will love to eat that crawfish. Bye. May they enjoy that. Oh, talking about turtles, look at the baby coming up. Oh Hello. Gosh. Oh, just like Got that, spooked. gone. So what I'm gonna actually do is release these guys so they can produce more crawfish in here. These were wild caught, so we're not introducing anything into the wild. So be free, my friends. A one, a two. And you can't really see, but goodbye, my friend. See you later. May you make lots of women. So with that, let's go ahead and see how our fish are doing, possibly feed them, and check on our tadpoles. All right, Slayer, so here we are. We're at the mini monster fish tank. We have Juan, we have Kylie, we have Chris, we have Gary, and on top of that, my favorite, we have Cosmo. Again, guys, it was, it was a shame what happened. You're gonna have to stay tuned for that on what happened to our other guy. McJagger, but on a better note, let's go ahead and see if our guys eat. We're gonna drop some beautiful shrimp down the hatch. Here we go. Ooh, you're the munch. Oh, Juan, oh, the car. Dude, look, Cosmo's about to go ahead and take it from him. Oh, all right, we gotta drop more food in there before it's too late. Dude, Chris is going down, we're just gonna drop more food. Make sure everyone's happy and healthy. Come on, Carly. Come on, Carly, I know you're not feeling well. It's okay, we're gonna drop more food. Look at Chris munching. Chris, Chris is doing it. Look at here, his one. Oh, dude, they're just eating really chill, really subtle. This is like meal number two of the week. I feed them every other now, cause I'm really, really round. But once we have them at the house, it's gonna be nothing but straight monster fish feedings. All right, cool. So we're actually gonna drop a little bit more. Make sure everyone's good to go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Everyone is nice and stuffed. Kylie's gonna eat. Kylie likes to usually eat when the lights are off. Cause look at her whiskers, she sees what's going down. Look at that thing move, you saw it bend? It's freaking wild. And look at Gary with a mouthful. So I'm gonna leave that food there, actually I'm gonna drop just a little bit more, see if Juan wants to eat. Come on Juan, we know you're hungry. Just drop those couple more pieces in there. And it's time to go ahead and feed my alien fish, the watercock goby ninja. All right guys, so check out our beautiful goby ninja. He is so excited, look at that savage. Oh my gosh. And my favorite part is when you look from above, guys, look how close he gets. He's so personable. You're doing so good. You want to eat, buddy? You want to eat? Come. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's what I'm talking about. He has been munching. He's been doing so good lately, and I'm so happy. I'll give him one more piece. Oh, I dropped it. Are you going to eat it? Oh, he got it. I don't know if you guys saw that. That's my fault, guys. I betrayed you. 
Here, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make up for it. We're gonna go ahead and feed him from above one more time. Here you go. Oh, jeez, he got me. So now that we had some fun, we're gonna go ahead and go outside and set up our tadpole aquarium for brand new tadpoles. Now, I know I said I was gonna go ahead and show you the tadpoles, but you're gonna have to wait just a little longer. All right, Slayers, so here we are. Here is the new tadpole terrarium aquarium. That is right, we made one for our tadpoles and the water is getting up a little bit and that is some lake water, but we went ahead and took that out and I'm actually putting some hose water and threw in some media from previous tanks, so we should be good to go. And look at it, oh yeah. We got a nice sandy bottom with some rocks that goes up into a nice rock quarry where our tadpoles can go ahead and thrive and enjoy their life. Now when they're bigger, they're obviously gonna be able to jump out of here. So worry not, we're gonna go ahead and put some egg crate on top and we should be good to go. So now we just gotta wait 40 days and 40 nights and uh, yeah, we should be ready for our brand new tadpoles. Well Slayers, what you've been waiting for, we're gonna go ahead and get our new tadpole pets. So it's gonna be really tough to record this as well as grab it, so bear with me. Look at our guys, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out, ooh, that was my finger. We're gonna grab him real close. E easy, easy kid, easy, easy. We got one, got one. This one has legs, this is Squish One. If the camera wants to focus, this is Squish One. I'll turn on the flash in a second. Squish one's going in. There you go, Squish. Now we have Ryan. No arms, no legs. But Squish two is actually all the way here. So, we gotta figure it out. It looks like Squish two grew arms. Moving the rock. Yep, full on. Full on froglet now. We're just moving these rocks to make sure we don't squish them. Everyone's losing their minds. But if you guys can see, Squish 1 is now, Squish 2 I believe, is now a frog let guys. Look, check this out. Arms, whoop. So the one to the right is a polywog. The one, I don't know left or right, but I'm sorry. This one is a frog let, that's a polywog. And we have a tadpole in here. Tadpole, Ryan. Ryan, where are you? Oh, Ryan's right here, guys. Come on, Ryan, come on, Ryan. Alrighty, perfect. We have Ryan right here. There's Ryan. Ryan is going in, oh! All right, so this is really poor camera work, I'm sorry. So here we have our little trio. We have Ryan, which is the tadpole. We have Squish 2, which is the frog leg. And we have Squish 1, which is the polywog. It's so cool to see the different stages and eventually they'll turn into a full-fledged bullfrog. So let's go ahead and add them to their enclosure. So now that we're outside, we're gonna be able to go ahead and check out on everybody. This is so cool. Look at this froglet, guys. This thing is insane. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, we're good. We're good. So we have the aquarium behind us. We have also squish number one, no arms yet, but you can feel where the arms are gonna come in right here, which is really interesting. Oh. Dude, they're really jumpy. These are the most jumpy tadpoles I've ever owned. Nice and slimy. Look at that. Not too green, though. And then we have Ryan, of course. Ryan's my favorite. Ryan is just my big old frog blob. Look at that. It's so weird, right? So we have all three of our guys. And then on top of that, we have our beautiful tank right here. Now, guys, you're worrying. Oh, my God, it's too high. Don't worry, guys. A terrarium, aquarium for tadpoles is going to be fine. We're going to drain this water level here. But I want to go ahead and make sure I can get the filter started so I have the water level this high. So we're going to go ahead and add our guys right now. We have right here squish number two. Go ahead, squish number two. Be free. Check it out. Wee! Look at him. He's so cool. It's insane. Swimming around. Loving his new home. It's a lot bigger than the 10 gallon, that's for sure. Look at that. Now we have squish number one. Adding him in. See you later, buddy. Look at him go. Right into the rocks, perfect. Look at him swimming around. Oh, he's losing it. Lower the water level. And on top of that, because they can jump out, we have to get the egg crate and good to go. And lastly, we have Ryan. Now Ryan's going in right here. This is the last guy. Swim, my child, Wee! 
Look at them. They're doing so good. They're having such a great life. Well, Slayers, that's all the time we have for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to go ahead and set up your own tadpole aquarium, go ahead and direct message me on Instagram at Joey Slam if you want to go ahead and find out on how you too can be taking care of tadpoles. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next adventure. Booyah.